Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum dears welcome to the Autodesk course this is the first uh, tutorial on Autodesk Revit so in this uh, tutorial we will be learn that how to draw the levels and grids so we will draw the levels in uh, any elevation like south north east or western and we will draw the grids in a plan so in order to do this we will first go to uh, any elevation so from here you can uh, pick any elevation i will uh, pick the south elevation and i will draw my levels in the south elevation so double click on this so the south elevation is now open so here you see by default these two grids are drawn so i will decrease the length of these two grids so this is now uh, in in the reduced length and here a uh, zoom in this so it is now more uh, clearly visible and uh, this is the level 2 and it is uh, 10 feet above from the datum so i will make it zero and i will name this uh, on later as a datum or ground level so this will be our ground level and now uh, here you see change the name uh, from here uh, by double clicking on this and name it as uh, ground level or datum so this is the method for uh, naming uh, a level so i name it as a datum or a slash ground level and reduce this uh, height to let's for example to put that will be act as the floor level for our uh, rooms or our building that we are going to construct it on later so i will name this as uh, floor level so no name it as a floor level and now uh, you can draw the other levels uh, here by copying these or by going to the structure tab and there you will see the uh, leveling uh, drawing the levels option so i have uh, here you see in the structural tab the level option so from here you can draw now other level as well so i will draw a level five feet below from the datum and that will be our uh, foundation level so name it as a uh, foundation so this is the our foundation level and it is a minus five feet i mean five feet below from the datum level and now you can draw the other level as well by copying these uh, so click on this copy option and here you see a copy this and let's for example our one story or level is um, of the height 11 feet so select it as 11 feet and similarly the other one so now name it as and the other will be name according to this so name it as level 1 uh, remove the 9 and add 1 and it is now 13 feet from the datum and its uh, net height is only 11 feet from the floor level and now uh, copy this now copy this level uh, above uh, this will be our second level and its height is also only 11 feet and you can add other level as well now you can add many levels so i will add three or four levels uh, and i will limit my structure to uh, three or four stories so this is uh, our level uh, two it is named by default once you name your first level so the other will be named accordingly to that level and here you see uh, my structure have now three levels so i will uh, add no more level right now now you can increase the length back so i have increased the length now so this is how we can draw the levels in Autodesk Revit. Now the next thing is to draw the grids. So in order to draw the grids, so we will add these level to our plan. So for this, you have to visit the view and here you see the plan view. So we will we go to the structural plan and we, and we will add all these level to the structural plan. So select all of these and click OK then. So these all are these all are added to the structural plan and now here uh, you see the structural plan this is a floor plan the ceiling plan and above this you will see the structure plan so click on this and open this so here you see all the level that you have uh, recently created 
so now we will go to the foundation level and at the foundation level we will draw the grids so uh, go to the structure tab and here you see the grid option uh, so pick the grid uh, and now start drawing your grids so we will uh, draw the grids as um, that's my plan uh, in which I am going to construct my structure as 50 by 60 that the length is 60 and the width is 50 so I have selected this width as 50 you see clearly and now draw the uh, other level uh, other grids as well so I will select this as uh, 60 feet and this is the width and here now adjust the width uh, the length of these uh, grid, uh, grids line so reduce this and also reduce this uh, a bit so this is reduced now and now you can draw the other grid line according to the distribution that you have made uh, for uh, different parts of your structure that where will be your rooms so i have uh, make the my distribution like that uh, i will be having uh, the facade to the south uh, and the at the back i will left uh, eight or ten foot and that will be our backyard so here i will divide this width uh, the 60 feet width to five equal parts and these will be my room so i will divide this with the array command so here you see the array command in the modify tab and here you see the number of uh, time that you want to copy this grid so i will uh, select this as uh, six or five time so enter it as a six time yes of course six and now uh, we will uh, first select the first point and then the last point so the first point is this and the last will be this one so here you see that how you can divide this uh, uh, length to equal parts in order to divide uh, this area in the another direction or in the horizontal direction so i will uh, left uh, 10 feet uh, backyard here so i will uh, and then i will uh, make the room so first uh, take it is uh, 10 foot only so this will be uh, the background uh, the backyard of uh, my structure and now make another grid is uh, 12 feet above here uh, 12 feet apart from this so this is a uh, 12 feet and now add one more of uh, 10 feet this will be the veranda of uh, this room and the 18 feet is um, lifted as the lawn of uh, this house so i hope you like uh, this video tutorial thank you for watching and take care best of you Allah.